Mr. Alex Hoffman, especially for the preparation of the concert tonight, and all the other people that assisted uh, to have this great conference here. Um, so, the topic is about uh, C sound and object orientation. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that most of you or you know, all of you know about the object orientation. And I just uh, would like to point my interest <laughs> towards this concept and if uh, it would be worth having this concept in if, uh, maybe the future see some versions. And uh, please excuse me if uh, some of the items uh, you already know and maybe it will be somehow boring, but I just have to refer to these because of the consistency of the subject. So uh, I chose a Seller Automata as uh, a tool for algorithmic composition because I thought that maybe it would help to show the benefit of having object orientation inside CSAM. First, uh, I would define cellular automata and two different types of it, games, uh, games of life and demo-cyclic space, and some applications of cellular automata of, uh, in music, including Wolfram tones and CABUs or CAMUS as uh, some algorithmic composition programs. And uh, I start suggesting an implementation of CA or cellular automata inside CSAM without having object orientation. And after that, uh, maybe we can have a glance of having uh, an somehow object oriented, object -oriented uh, CSAM implementation of CA and using different features of object orientation like uh, having classes, having different kinds of visibilities inheritance, method of writing, having abstract or concrete classes, template method or book method, instantiation, and having constructors. <coughs> and and <at> last, <coughs> uh, I would like to know if uh, actually it is worth having this or many problems regarding this cellular automata. So the cellular automata is actually a mathematical structure. It, it's a grid of cells or a matrix containing some cells that each of which could have could be in different states from maybe 0 to n and uh, we can have a tick of time uh, so we will have different generations uh, the next generation can be produced from the previous generation by means of a rule so uh, whenever we have a rule we can define how the cellular automata would evolve through time and uh, cellular automata is good in music because of this characteristic that it evolves in two time. So uh, the first kind is game of life. This specific kind of CA has just two states, zero or one, uh, white or black or dead or alive. And the rule is so, uh, we have birth for a cell whenever if we assume that uh, it is a dead cell at time t, it will become alive uh, at time t plus one when it exactly has three neighbors alive. And the neighbors, you can see here that the adjacent cells from this cell are these eight cells. So, for example, if we We have this cell as actually in zero state and it has three neighbors. In one state it will become one in the next state. And we have the rule for death and it will be uh, because of two different reasons, loneliness or overpopulation. Uh, whenever we have fewer than two neighbors alive it will be zero because of loneliness. As, uh, and it will be zero because of overpopulation when it has more than three neighbors alive. And 
And uh, these are different kinds of patterns in uh, games of life, cellular automata. We have still lives. Um, still lives are some patterns of shape that uh, do not change over time. And uh, we have oscillators that change repeatedly during the board of the game of life, but they do not move across the board. And we have spaceships that uh, they move across the board, but again, they repeat. The second type is a uh, downcyclic space. It has n possible states comparing to the games of life that just has two states. It, it can have zero to n minus one states. And we can assign color to each cell, so we can have n different colors. And the rule is that uh, a cell in state k dominates any adjacent cells that are in state k minus one. For example, if we have a cell that is in state five, and it has uh, just one or more adjacent cells in state six, uh, in the next generation it will be six. And uh, it is cyclic, it means that uh, state zero will dominate the state n minus one. So the amazing fact about the visualization of this kind of cellular automata is that uh, you can see here, after some generations it will be turned into a spiral that will repeat over the time. So, uh, the characteristic of CA that changes over time may be something, maybe a motivation to somehow convert into music. And so many composers use this for composition, and some seem to be one of them is the like this in uh, his name for us. And uh, there are different algorithmic composition programs like Wolfram Tones and CA News that use CA as well. Uh, and if I want to just uh, refer to some kind of conversion using CA music, uh, I can point Wolfram Tones that uh, it used the mapping for each cell to a specific pitch. And uh, mapping each cell to a specific pitch, when a cell is alive, the related pitch could be here. And uh, we can use a tempo, I don't know, a fixed tempo or any kind of tempo to uh, actually use, be used uh, in each tick to have music in time. But of course, it is a simple mapping, and maybe we want more complex mappings. And we can use different CAs each of which for each instrument. Another program is CA News that uh, used a Cartesian model. If we, if we consider each cell, it has uh, two dimensions, x and y, and uh, we can convert these two numbers to two intervals. So we can have three nodes for each trial. And uh, he used uh, game of life in combination with democyclic space and democyclic space was used as orchestration or timber and games of life uh, was used as pitch so these are two different kinds of CA and games of life can be used to generate two intervals or a trial and Thermocyclic space as orchestration. So, uh, we want to go on to the implementation and maybe having object orientation. This is UML diagram, a model that could be used as the design for solar automata. We can reach to uh, these details at the end of the presentation. But for now, we can say that we have an abstract class for solar automata and we have two subclasses, games of life, and thermocyclic space uh, that extends this class with different methods. So the standard system implementation could be something like this. We can have a table for uh, representing the cells. And of course, we 
as far as I know, we do not have a two-dimension table, so we have to use just one dimension and convert uh, these two together. We should have a, a converter method that we can pass, for example, in this shape. This is a table with different row and columns, and by using a formula, we can have two different outputs, two, two linear index, which gets row and column and returns just one integer, and two 2D index that gets uh, just the linear index and converts it to two different row and columns. And uh, we can have an output for initialization that uh, it can use random values for filling CA, CA table. And the parameters of this uh, upcode, of course, uh, can be the size and uh, a number of maximum states that in games of life it was two and in demonstrative space it could be anything. But uh, the point here is that we have to pass the, this parameter, ICA, the third parameter, to specify which CA we are actually typing about. Because we can have uh, different tables, each of which representing one CA. And we have to specify the number of tables. And we should uh, use this ICA parameter inside this opcode to uh, manipulate the corresponding table. I'm just pointing this because afterwards we could have the documentation and maybe a different approach can be used. And uh, we can have, have a different outputs for reading and writing itself. Again, we have this ICA parameter and row and column. And here in the get cell state of code, um, we call two linear index of code that we had in the previous page. So it shows that these two of codes, get cell state and set cell states, uh, somehow are called, um, we can say, outside cellular automata. But the output to linear index is something more private. I mean, maybe a developer does not like to call to linear index output, but it's more important for him or her to call get cell state. Um, and because we want to define the rule, we can have an opcode to facilitate us with uh, developing a new rule. For example, for Game of Life, we had this rule that if a cell has an alive neighbor, so, uh, so we have to be able to count the neighbors of a specific cell to uh, have or to be in a specific state. This could be used by means of calling this up for count neighbors in state. So we can pass the specific state that we want to count the neighbors that are in this specific state for a cell which is in specific row and column and again the number of cellular automata, the number of table that we are concerned about and this output of course can be implemented so counting the neighbors in uh, row and column around a specific cell. And again, um, this upcode calls another one named add count if in state. This is a helper method for this upcode. Again, we have this kind of pattern that there is an upcode that is more important for us and that we can call outside the CA. And we have another helper method that is not that important and is, uh, acts just like a helper method to another one. Uh, so, Mm, right now, we have the generic CA implementation, and if you want to become concrete, it would be game of life, CSAM, CA implementation, that uh, generally we cannot talk about rule for a generic CA. It's just a CA, and we do not know anything about its rule, how the next state can be produced by means of the previous state. But now we are concrete. We, we are talking about game of life and we can define exactly how the rule is. So we can have 
this upload name <coughs> name get next game of last day and it can use uh, actually different upcodes that we have already here named count neighbors and state etc and another thing that we are sure about if the number of states uh, always games of life have two states and this is implementation for uh, demo cyclic space we do not know about the number of states uh, but rule could be something like this okay and um, <coughs> So uh, when we have get next state for games of life or down cycle space, we have another output for advancing it. It can just call the previous method for get next state. I mean, uh, for generating the table for the next generation, we should have a call to get next, next state for each cell. For example, copying the table somewhere and uh, having the next state for all the cells and actually concludingly we can have the current uh, the whole table in the next state okay uh, so we go to object orientation uh, of course you know the first object oriented concept is class that a class is a container of member variables and methods uh, for example we can think of animal that has age, gender, and size as some attributes, and uh, it can have some kind of behaviors that change the, uh, these attributes and have access to these attributes. So we can think of, of think of anything in the real world or in the computer programs as objects having two different aspects, attributes, and behavior. So uh, class itself is something that you can say is abstract but whenever we get some instances of that it will uh, be something that we can talk to actually generally for example a cat is something abstract but uh, when it, its attributes get values it's become concrete for example this cat or that cat so we have classes and instances Another aspect is visibility. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned previously, we have two different upcodes that in terms of object orientation we can uh, refer to as methods. Uh, some private methods that the users of that class do not deal with and there are just some upcodes or methods that are helpers for the other methods or upcodes and some public methods that are more important and the outside clients can call them. And the sample for the C implementation was add count different state for private ones and advanced generation that is an important factor. So if we want to have more security, we can have all these member variables in private and have some setter and getter methods which are public uh, that is guarantee more security. And we have inheritance that uh, inheritance is an is a relationship. Uh, this is a relationship between two classes, uh, a subclass and a superclass. And for example, when we say game of life CA is a CA suggest that maybe this can be a kind of inheritance relationship between these two. So the CA would be the superclass and game of life CA would be the subclass. Uh, the subclass would inherit the attributes and behavior of the superclass and it may add or change some behavior behaviors to the superclass. So we can have a good reuse and uh, we can have a hierarchy and thinking of a class library, we can have some powerful feature using inheritance. And there is a different visibility when talking about inheritance, it's, it's protected, so we will have three different kinds of visibility, private, public, and protected. Protected visibility is something that uh, when a member variable or a behavior is protected, uh, just the subclasses can have access to it, and uh, the outside world cannot have access. 
but private ones are some uh, attributes or behavior that the subclasses, even the subclasses, cannot uh, have direct access to them. Another concept is method overriding. Uh, whenever a subclass wants to change the behavior of the parent, it can override the parent or the superclass methods. Uh, for example, we had get uh, next state upcode. Generally, we can think of having a get next state upcode in the generic CA, and the subclasses like games of life or uh, demo states can override this method and change their behavior, meaning that they can define their own rules. How much time I have? Sorry. <laughs> abstract or concrete. Uh, as mentioned, uh, CA by nature is abstract because we do not know its rule. But uh, the subclasses become concrete, for example, games of life, because, because we know exactly what it's all about. And uh, we can have instances of the concrete classes, but we, do not, uh, we cannot have instances of the superclass which is abstract or generally an abstract class is something that has uh, some abstract methods so we cannot have instances but and a concrete class is something that does not have any abstract method so we can have uh, instances of that class and in our example get next state is an abstract method in this generic CA superclass it means that sh there should be a class extending on, uh, or inheriting this class and overriding the method named getNextState to define a concrete class. And uh, we can have a pattern in template method or book method. Um, template methods uh, are some methods that act like a template uh, having some slots named book methods. So, um, for changing the behavior of a specific template method, there is no need to override the whole method. If we just override the hook methods, we can change the behavior. Uh, for example, advanced generation is a method that uh, the subclasses do not need to override. Uh, but if the subclasses like game, games of life or PC, override get next state everything will be correct so it can be a nice pattern for example maybe we can have a, an opcode with hundreds of lines and uh, we can uh, just design some slots in book methods and uh, suggest to the developers that they can override just these methods and uh, instantiation as we have previously means taking an instance of that class that means uh, filling the attributes and setting the values for a class and having an instance. So there is a constructor that is a method of the class that is automatically called when instantiating the class and it can have a keyword, for example, in it or the name of class can be used as an automatic keyword uh, for specifying that this method is a constructor. Whenever we get an instance of that class, that method would be called automatically. For example, in CA, we can have mm, two different constructors named in it. Uh, one getting max states, and another one getting max state and size. It's just an example. Okay. So this is the um, diagram of the CA in general. This is the abstract class cellular automata that generally has uh, some number variables named, named states, size, max state, and generation. Uh, and these are the methods. Whenever a client calls advanced generation, the generation would be uh, advanced, would be plus one. 
And these notations mm, here, so I'm going to block, uh, denotes being private. Uh, these can, cannot be called by the outside client, but the others can be called these are public. So we have this constructor, we have two linear index and two, two D index as private methods. Get cell state and set cell state as public. And this one at count within state private. And the others public methods. And we have this abstract method name, named get next state. Uh, so these two subclasses uh, inherit the abstract CA overriding the get next state method. And specifically, games of life, CA overrides get max state and always returns true. This could be uh, a suggestion somehow for maybe a future C++ syntax that uh, we have a class CA with some private variables instead of having global variables, and some member variables which can be private, some public upcodes. Uh, or some private upwards, some abstract upwards, and uh, inheriting seller automata, adding some behavior. And uh, for instantiating the class, we can have something like this that uh, the init method, init output will be called automatically. Okay, uh, so I'll now, I think uh, maybe if you think that public orientation or orientation could be something useful. Uh, maybe some somehow uh, help to model the problem more easily and having a powerful class library. Mm. Even if we can have object orientation, maybe a developer doesn't like to use uh, these features uh, to go on this standard model of CSAM. And maybe object oriented design uh, can help as well. Uh, even if we do not have uh, an object oriented programming language, uh, still we can use it in object oriented design. And, uh, okay, that's all. Thank you for your patience. <laughs>
thing I have to say is that the Lua 